Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, dang. I really screwed up that hook set. But look at that. We yanked one out of the creek, boys. Good evening folks, welcome back to another episode of Classic Angling here. Today we are back with another evening sesh for carp here at the And uh, I, got a, I got a new rig, you know, with my glasses, you know, because they broke at McKinsey, you know. So I had to get a new pair of polarizers, and uh, because you know, you gotta, you gotta spot some carp sometime. And then we also got a fancy little rig today, we're gonna use to catch carp, called a lemon rig. Now, I'll explain it because I I never even heard of it until a few weeks ago. I was like, man, I wonder if I can, it's a saltwater rig, so I was wondering if I could, you know, turn it into something for cart. Of course, I made it into something that you could possibly use for cart, and we're going to see if it works. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video while we test out a rig that's probably never been used in cart fishing before, so... Let's get to it. Hello boys, welcome back to Nervous Oak Classic Angling here today. We are walking on the fence here, and uh, it's a fence we're going to jump, because we going bass fishing today, boys. Dang straight we are, we're going by ourselves, we're going to catch a toad, 100%. Bought these worms yesterday, oh gosh, it's dirty down there. Hold up. So, what I'm doing today, I'm sorry about the wind, it's coming straight out of the north. It's kind of cold, I'm not going to lie. Good old fashioned 60 degrees out here, about 60, 65, but shouldn't, shouldn't kill the bass bite at all. So, what I got here, I got me a little swim bait. I'm going to start off with that. Hello. Okay. And then, we're going to get to casting. So, let's do it, boys. Right. Soldier boy, tell me. Watch the Hey, I got this new damn for y'all called a soldier boy. Okay, boys, first fish out of this lake, and it was on a 76 cent worm. <laughs> I just did the wacky rig. I saw something. I heard a splash. And I threw the worm right beside it. It was very close to shore. Very nice, little greeny there. Just crushed that wacky worm. Look at that. Ah. Is not coming out. There we go. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Look at that. Perfect little greenie. Perfect shape. Enjoy yourself. It's swimming along. It's swimming along. it's been a quick couple of hours and uh you know we haven't really caught fish we've seen a bunch of fish but you know i found this chair in the middle of the water and this guy happened to be bedding right by it look how pretty that thing is it's a pretty bluegill so we got a we got two species cross out to live we got a bluegill it's going back all right it's gonna, probably gonna go back to that chair there's probably a ton of fish spawning so i'm gonna set down so we caught a caught a bluegill we caught a green sunfish the bluegill came on this little drop shot with a tip with some gold earthworm. In fact, I'm going to try and drop it in there again because I literally cast it right by his chair. And uh, I just heard doo doo, or not heard, I felt doo 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 doo, and then yeah, it was on. Okay, boys, so let's go over the lemon rig. First off, I haven't fished with this, I haven't caught a single fish on this rod yet, or this rod reel combo. And so I'm going to try and do that today, but yeah. So far, my rig today, starting from the bottom, there's a little bait holder hook tied to a little sinker. Simple. You can tie that direct if you want. That's That would be perfect. But what I did, as I came about four foot up to a Thunder Tangle Free Swivel. You need a Tangle Free Swivel because this is going to be a pain if you don't have a Tangle Free device of some sort. 
and then it goes about three foot down or three foot up to a bobber and the reason it's called a lemon rig is because usually you use a yellow bobber but really you can use whatever bobber you need to but this uh this is not supposed to sp suspend your bay off the bottom at all it's just going to keep it on the bottom and it's going to use the bobber as a bite detector but de detector so basically you're fishing on the bottom with a bobber so let's do it right now it should work so i'm going to use carpet today i was going to use this with corn but i forgot to get it while i was at the grocery store so yeah sue me but um yeah we're just gonna ball this ball this up a lot i'm starting to love this carp bait more because i've used it pretty much all spring now because i always keep forgetting to get corn and uh yeah there we go now we're gonna catch a carp here at greenways on the lemon rig so we'll get a good old good old cast out there oh, where's the goldfish in there there are two goldfish in oh my god what are those okay there's goldfish right there i don't, I don't know if y'all can see that too well because of all the shadows i knew i saw something freaking jump Okay, there's two goldfish, and then there's something big right over here. Oh, there's a school of everything over here. This is not in here when I... Look at that. You see, look, look at the dust clouds, guys. Look. Look at all of them. Oh, my goodness. I spooked a ton of something. Okay, those are carp. I know for sure. Yep, that was a fish that jumped right there. Look at all the dust. I should have brought the fly rod, guys. Oh, my God. I might get a, I might get a line in here. I'm going to get my bait caster. I also brought my bait caster out here today. I'm going to get a line in there. I'm going to see if I can catch one of them suckers. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, dang. I really screwed up that hook set. But look at that. We yanked one out of the creek, boys. <laughs> All right. Mission accomplished. We caught a fish out of the creek. Ah, all right, hooked it right in the corner of the mouth. Couldn't ask for a better hook set. Whew, look at that. Just yanked him right out of the creek. Yanked him. Oh yeah, you, you can tell they're doing their business because they spawn and they spawn and real good. Yeah, real good looking fish. And uh, he's gonna go back where he came from. So we're gonna get a solid release. <laughs> there he goes, back, back to his home. Got something real small on the bait caster. Waiting on the lemon rig. And got a really small carp out of those reeds. Phew. Yep, we tossed the lemon rig way out. Oh, it's getting bit, it's getting bit, it's getting bit. It's getting bit, it's getting bit. It was getting bit. I guarantee it was getting bit. The barber just turned. Yep, it's going, it's going. Oh. Got him. I got him. I got him. Lemon rig, boys. I better. That bobber was just twitching and twitching, and then it finally just went down. Oh God, please. He, it's a bullhead on a freaking lemon rig. Bye, boy. We just got one on the lemon rig. That was the first bullhead I've caught out here in forever. All right, finally got him. Right in the corner of the mouth, boys. Oh my goodness. First fish on the lemon rig. <laughs> that was fun to watch. I'm gonna do that again. So it looks like the bullheads are out deep tonight. All right, come on, get out of the mouth. There we go. Look at that, boys. Look at that first fish on the lemon rig. All right, little bullhead. That fish popped off, so we're gonna send him on his way. All right, first fish on the lemon rig. It does work. You just have to throw it in deep water. That's it. That's all you have to do is just throw it in deep water. All right, boys. I resorted to snagging. And I got me a goldfish. It's a white one too. All right, kind of, kind of deep in the skull there. There he goes. Oh, now he's got some dirt. Actually, we're gonna put him. He's got a couple of other goldfish buddies in the creek, so we're gonna put him in there. Woo! Walking right into the wind. Woohoo! All right, we got a couple of buddies in here. Oh look, there's actually one right there. Oh, there's a carp there too. Wash him off. There you go. He'll figure it out. See, look at that. He's well. He'll, he'll get it. He'll find out. Got another goldfish. This time in the tail. So he should be. He should be finding dandy in the in the creek. Someday I'll come back and get these suckers on a fly. Oh, I got them really deep in the tail. Okay, there you go. Oh no. Oh. Alright, but, oh, there he goes, 
There he goes. Should be a lot better than the other one since I hooked him in the tail, but goody. Ready, check.